what is going on guys today we are doing a review over a 2020 mazda cx 30 this is a loaner car while my car is in the shop right now so i've actually been driving this car for about four four to five days now i want to say love the car so far love everything about it from the tail lights to the front of the car to the way it drives we're gonna get into depth about everything about this car so this car um, it's a gray color i just washed the car it's been raining a lot lately just a couple of exterior shots i love the way the headlights are they're so sharp and they just look so mean so this car is sitting on some 18 inch wheels. This is considered a subcompact um, crossover. Getting inside the car here, it does have keyless entry. I'm not sure what um, in terms of trim this car is. Here is the key fob right here. Kind of basic here, right here you have the lock, unlock, and then hold for the emergency. So like I said, the car, so the key is in my pocket, it detects it, put my hand, automatically unlocks the car, you get inside, looking inside the car here, it is wrapped in a nice leather, black with blue accents, when we have some tan seats inside of here. Sipping inside the car here. Find some of my GoPro gear here. Does not have a sunroof. Checking the mirrors here. Nice leather wrapped steering wheel. The bolstering at the three and nine position are nice and good. It's all black, basically all black steering wheel. These buttons actually feel real nice and solid. Starting up the car here. So this car, starting off the bat, let me turn down the AC here as it does have auto AC. Let's go ahead and shut that door. So the car does come standard with Apple Apple and Android CarPlay. Service light just came on not just a day ago. So starting off, it does have a digital um, analog in terms of the rpm those are all just uh normal functions over here you have your gas it tells the temperature i've been averaging about 27 almost 28 miles to the gallon this car drives and handles really nice so just toggling between the different um screens here you just click on this info button right here and this one is going to be one of your main screens where it has you know the full tachometer here um if you want it to show your epas in terms of how you're driving and then if you just want just solely just to tell for it to tell your speed you can um you know block everything else out and it can do that for you i usually like to keep mine in this mode right here um this car does have an automatic park brake um so i have that engaged so to disengage that you just put your foot on the brake push down here you're going to feel some resistance and then uh, the car is ready to go. Um, this car does come with a six speed gearbox. It does have manual capabilities, putting it into drive, slapping it over to the left. Um, up is to downshift, up um, going back towards you is to upshift and it will tell you right here um, in terms of what gear you're in. Putting it back into park here. It does have a sport mode. Um, as far as I've noticed in terms of the sport mode, all it does is just ho it holds the RPMs longer um, to help keep you within the power band. Speaking of the power band, this car does come with a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder making 186 horsepower and 186 pound feet of torque. Let's go ahead and take a look at the engine here. Like I said, this is a rental car, so car is not in the best circumstances. Not necessarily super, super clean. 
But right here, you're looking at a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder Sky Active G, making 106 horsepower and 100, 186 pound feet of torque. So this car, um, it is full auto down for all four mirrors and full auto up as well. If you put the car into reverse here, it does have come standard with the backup camera. The lines do not, um, if in terms of turning the car, they stay in one position. Um, it would be nice if it were to actually kind of have that trajectory angle, but it's actually not that bad once you get used to it. This car does have the blind spot monitoring detection system. I can tell you, um, just based off having the car for about between four to five days, this car will automatically break if it detects that you're coming too close into contact with the car. I was driving the other day and I, speaking of which, there's another CX-30, it's a white one. Um, I hadn't come too, too close with the car, but uh, to the car's liking it, it appeared that I came too close and what will happen is the car will automatically brake for you and when it does that, this will start flashing at you and it'll pop up all red and it'll say brake and the car will automatically brake for you. It actually has happened to me twice now. Um, so it's definitely, a, it's not a bad feature. It's definitely a nice feature to have. Um, in terms of the blind spots, um, this car has very good visibility. Um, as far as I've noticed, I have not really had any difficulty being able to um, have any trouble seeing um, in terms of my left and my right, as well as my rear view. And this car does have a dual zone automatic climate control. It does have an auto climate as well. I like how they did this design right here. It's very just nice and simple. There's not a lot of buttons to get you confused. It just has your normal buttons, you know, your on, your off button. If you wanna change the fan speed right here, you can turn it all the way up. I can confirm that it'll blow, it does blow really cold air. As you guys can hear that kicking in right now. So that's very nice, especially in this Texas weather that it's about to get really hot. Right now it's only 78 degrees, so it's actually not that bad, but we are, this actually today is May 2nd, so we're just in the crack of May and we have a lot longer to go. In terms of cup holders here, it has two front cup holders. I can confirm that this does not it doesn't hold or clamp around the cup as tight as I would like it to, but I mean, overall you have about, you have four cup holders. You have one can hold one right here. I have one on the side right here as well. Like I said, this is nice and leather wrapped. You can rest your arm up here if you'd like. Looking in terms of the center console. So when I first got this car, I actually didn't know how to move this. So you actually, there's a, there's a button right here. So you have to, um, push up on it then you can slide it back then it pops open when I had first gotten into this car because I was trying to look for the cigarette lighter so I could put in my radar here I was uh, trying to pull up and you can't just pull up you have to pull up on the on the little lever slide it back then it'll prop open and then looking inside of here it has a decent amount of um, storage in here I do like how you know Mazda they did really nice in regards to their you know their leathering I really do like this blue this is all just hard plastic this is all nice and padded like I said it does come standard with Apple CarPlay you can control that via this little knob right here not sure in terms of what size screen this is but it is a fairly nice uh, if I had to guess maybe an eight uh, eight inch screen it is not touch screen so you do have to control it with this knob but i mean the knob is nice and sturdy it feels very responsive um when driving it can detect um as well as you staying within your lane so if it detects at the car that you're kind of swerving to the left or to the right a little bit it'll kind of vibrate give some resistance to the steering wheel to help bring you back into place as well as it'll pop up on here with the two lines and you know depending on which way you're veering um, it'll light up orange kind of telling you to like hey get back into your lane the horn works really good looking at the glove compartment down in here not a super super big glove compartment but I mean it's it's got a two deck here this is hard plastic right here nice leather auto up down from here as well 
and it does come standard with the LEDs. You're not gonna really be able to see that right now just due to the sun's out. Let's go ahead and hop back into the back seat here. And unlock the car. So that beeping right now, it's saying that it has lost detection of the key. However, the key is still within my pocket. So getting back into the back seat here. So right now I'm about 5'11". So in terms of how I would like my seat, it is a little bit cramped back here, but closing that door, it does auto up and auto down for the windows as well. These windows don't come all the way down. They stop at about right here. Not too bad though. Closing that all the way back up. This does have a center armrest right here as well as two places to put for drinks. So in terms of height, I am 5'11", like I said. I still have, I have a good amount of decent room between the ceiling and my head, so perfectly fine right here. Like I said, this is a subcompact crossover, but it's very nice. Everything is nicely stitched, all leather. I really do love this color combo right here with the black with the blue and then the tan seats I like that a lot hopping out of the back seat here let's go ahead and check out the trunk so checking out the cargo space it's not super super big but you know, depending on what you're gonna be using this car for, it is a decent amount. If anything, you could fold these seats down to give you more space. It's, it's good. This car also does have the option of the automatic headlights as standard, as well as automatic um, high beams. There's a button over here, right here. You can just press that. It's not gonna work right now because it, the car detects that it is uh, sunny outside, but whenever it gets toward nighttime and it, it doesn't see any lights on the road, it'll automatically flash those on if you want that. It also, one, this one also does come with the automatic um, rain sensing windshield wipers. You just flick it down once and it, how you see right here, it lights up auto. Um, anytime it detects rain, it'll automatically um, get those going for you. The sound system in here is really, really good. Let's, uh, I'll play a little something. Do the driving portion getting in stuff in the car here put on the brake
car handles really well. well. One thing we can do if we put it on cruise control right now, set it to about 35. All right, so the car is automatically braking because they can detect. See, my foot is not on the brake at all. The car automatically came to basically a complete stop and it's starting to go forward a little bit because it detects that car in front. All right, so I'm gonna have to manually brake here. Put on my blinker. All right, so nothing popped up in the menu there in the main infotainment cluster right there. But as you guys just saw, as we came closer and closer to that car, as the car was set in cruise control, the car Adam automatically came to a stop. It started braking on its own. Then when it started getting closer and closer to that car, it came to a complete stop. And then as it detected the car was leaving, getting further and further away, it started to roll forward and it would have gone back to its normal set cruise control, which I had it set at 35. Like I said, visibility is great. I can see out of all, ooh, that's a nice Porsche. I can see very well out of all corners of my car. This is definitely a good pickup, guys. I've driven a CX-5. My sister actually has a CX-5. I've driven that. In comparison to that car, this one is newer. However, I mean, Mazdas have done a really good job lately in terms of the quality and care of their car. These, honestly, if you're looking for something that's very reliable, not too expensive, can get you from point A to point B, has nice creature comforts, you know, I definitely would recommend looking into Mazda. Difference between the CX-30, CX-5, CX-5 is just going to be a little bit bigger. With the transmission when shifting from gear to gear is very, very smooth. Let's go ahead and bump it into sport mode here. There's a nice Audi Q8. go like I said the only noticeable thing that I really notice when you put it into sports mode is it does hold those rpms as you can see right here it's still kind of holding it this again so see now it's giving me some some resistance it's kind of pushing me to alert me to go back into the left hand lane and it, it highlighted orange in there The car is always trying to keep you safe while on the road. That beeping was alerting me that there was somebody next to me as I was trying to have my blinker on to get over. Yeah, guys, yeah, really so far. I mean, drive, like I said, I've been driving this car for about between four, at least four days, I'm gonna say. I really have no complaints. If I was in the market to get one of these, I definitely would. I don't know in regards to whether I would get the you know, CX-30, CX-5. Honestly, it's really just gonna depend on you know what you plan on using the car for, how big of a family you have. But I mean, for a sub compact crossover, this definitely will get the job done. Very good fuel economy, at least 27, 28. Some of you may even drive, or drive with a lighter foot than I do and may see upwards of 30 miles to the gallon. Can't really ask for anything much more. It has your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, sound system is good. driving this car around for the past hour and a half I want to say 
Like I said, guys, before, I can't say it enough. This car is all around a really good car. Um, I really have no complaints. Um, a couple things that I did notice while I was driving um, in terms of, I guess, the specific trims, which I'm sure if you got a higher trim, um, you would have these features. Heated and cooled seats as well as along with the steering wheel. This car does not have that option. Again, I'm not quite sure which specific trim this car is. Um, I do know that Mazda offers a multitude of trims. Um, so I'm not completely sure which trim this car is. Um, as I'm sure if you did have those options, they might be right here um, with these buttons as well as I'm sure if it had a car offered something else as well, um, you might have the fill-in spots for these buttons as well. But I mean, overall, this is really, really a nice, comfortable, affordable daily, you know, sub, sub comeback crossover. And it looks like we've hit some traffic, guys. So. That's probably gonna be the end of this review. If you guys liked this video, um, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to bring you guys some more reviews of cars. If you wanna see something else, let me know down in the comments below, and I will try my best to see what I can do uh, to bring you that content. Um, yeah, I wanna thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. And remember to keep shifting forward. Yeah, uh, feel me. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.